हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन बेस्ट टाइम टू बाय एंड सेल स्टॉक सो यस व्हाट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इज वी आर गिवन एन इंटीजर एरे प्राइजेस वे आर प्राइजेस एट पर्टिकुलर इंडेक्स इज द प्राइस ऑफ द गिवन स्टॉक ऑन आई एट डे लाइक लाइक फर्स्ट इंडेक्स विल इंडिकेट द प्राइज ऑन फर्स्ट डे सेकेंड इंडेक्स विल गिव द प्राइज ऑफ द सेकेंड डे नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी we want to get we want to maximize our profit by choosing a single day to buy a stock like it is like mentioned here single day like we on, on a single day only we need to buy a stock and choose a different day in the future to sell this stock like we cannot sell this same stock on the same day on which we have buy so we need to choose a different day in the future to sell the stock so like in this way we need to return the maximum profit which can be achieved from this transaction like buying on a single chosen day and selling it on a different day in the future so we Uh, so we need to find the maximum profit so like it is uh, for uh, example is given so prices are given 175364 and the output is 5 like so what is given if we buy on day 2 so the uh, cost price is 1 and if we sell on day 5 that is uh, on that day the price is 6 so the difference between this is 5 so oh, this is like in this way we need to calculate the maximum profit by say, uh, by buying a particular stock on a single day and selling in a selling it in a future so yeah it is also given if you cannot achieve any profit return zero so this will be the case when like the prices are continuously decreasing so 76431 so in this uh, way buying on any particular day we can uh, we can we will not be able to make profit in future so that is why we have written zero so what is the approach where we, uh, which we can use to solve this problem so like look at this so this is the price given array so this is price so what we have to do is like we have to get a day which has the lowest price first of all lowest price then we need to find another day in future which has the highest price or which has a price more than the price in which we have buy so like we need to find the uh, uh, price uh, which was on particular minimum price which was on on a particular day in the past and the maximum price uh, which was on a particular day in future so like what we can do here is like uh, first of all like while it trading this array we can iterate this array and find the minimum price like uh, we can find uh, the minimum price uh, we can have a variable like minimum price so and a maximum profit so like this we can have these two variable minimum price and maximum profit so minimum price will indicate like up till now like on a on a, like if we are uh, having a, we are on a third day like we are having on a third day so up till now what is the minimum price which we have encountered for this stock so we for we will have one variable that will uh, that will keep track of the minimum price as we will uh, go to through each day uh, each day in our uh, we will go through the price of a stock uh, for each day in our uh, array price array so we will have this variable which will maintain the minimum price and maximum profit so like uh, like in this case like uh, have uh, like we are traversing from 7 so like minimum price would be 7 and maximum profit would be 0 then if we have encountered here like 1 so minimum price would be 1 and then the maximum profit is uh, again 0 because Uh, it the, the selling price will be lower than the uh, cost price so now in this case when minimum price is 1 and maximum profit is 0 now when we will move to d3 so what is what was the minimum price which we have got is 1 it was previously uh, in our previous day what minimum price we have got is 1 and today's current price is what 5 so like 5 minus 1 so it will give us the profit of 4 so we will keep this profit in our maximum profit variable so we will have 4 here then again so like if we dry run it from the beginning 
सो लाइक वी हैव गॉट वाई वी आर यूजिंग लाइक टू वेरिएबल सो मिनिमम प्राइस टू मेंटेन द मिनिमम प्राइस व्हिच वी हैव इनकाउंटर्ड इन आर प्रीवियस डेज एंड मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट इज टू लाइक टू मिनिमम प्रॉफिट इज टू कीप द मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट व्हिच वी हैव गॉट टिल नाउ सो वी विल हैव दीज टू वेरिएबल्स सो लाइक वी कैन ड्राई रन दिस सो लाइक वी विल इनिशिएट ओके सो लेट मी रब दिस सो ओके so in this case only like uh, we will initiate our minimum price with a zeroth index uh, so seven will be a minimum price and maximum pri price would be uh, maximum profit would be zero because uh, we uh, why we are keeping it as zero because in case we are encountering the scenario like this where price is continuously decreasing and we will not be able to make any profit in that case we need to return zero so we will return the maximum profit so that is why we are initializing this value as uh, zero okay so yeah uh, so now uh, we will start our loop from here so i will be placed here then we will check if current value which is pointed by i and minimum price which whichever the variable which have the lowest value will keep uh, we will update the minimum price with that so one will be updated here so instead of seven one will be there and uh, then maximum profit so maximum profit is seven minus one so it is uh, 1 minus 7 it is not maximum profit so maximum profit will remain zero now uh, we i will be moved to the third day so what what is the price here 5 and what is minimum between minimum price and 5 so obviously minimum price is having one which is lower than the current price so minimum price will remain unchanged and then maximum profit will change like 5 minus 1 uh, so 4 is the value so from maximum profit 0 and 4 between 0 and 4 maximum profit would be 4 then again i will move to this fourth day uh, then again we will check what uh, whatever the value which uh, is contained in minimum price is lower than uh, the current price value like on uh, on that particular day so yes it is 3 and minimum price which we have encountered previously was 1 so 1 is the minimum price here so uh, th this remain unchanged then the maximum profit so we will uh, delete uh, we will like subtract like current day price and what minimum price we have got so 3 minus 1 is 2 which is not uh, greater than maximum profit so it will also remain unchanged then i will move to next index that is day 5th so we will again check uh, do we have uh, like do the current price uh, uh, for today is minimum than the uh, previous minimum price which we have encountered so it uh, it its answer is no so minimum price will remain unchanged one and uh, now maximum profit so like current price and whichever minimum price we have got uh, what is the difference so 6 minus 1 it is 5 so is it greater than maximum profit yes it is greater than maximum profit so we will change it to 5 we will have this maximum profit value 5 then again i will increment so again i will increment now again it will check that current day price is greater uh, is minimum than the minimum price no it is 1 and it is 4 so it will remain unchanged and maximum profit is like uh, uh, maximum profit is uh, 4 minus 1 3 so which is not greater than maximum profit so we will uh, have this maximum profit value as 5 so we will return this uh, okay so one thing we can see here is like if the scenario would have been like this because instead of here it would have been 4 and here it would have been 1 so it would be the minimum price but uh, so minimum price uh, would have come in this but we don't have any further day to sell so in this case the maximum profit would have been 3 minus between these two uh, because the minimum price up till up till here it would be 3 so and then uh, on the next day it will have uh, six value so maximum profit would be 3 uh, 6 minus 3 is 3 so if this would be the scenario then minimum price of our uh, minimum price of our uh, stock would be 3 uh, and the maximum uh, profit which we can make was 3 so this is the scenario so now let's implement this solution so yeah we have to first of all we have to maintain two variable min min price we will have the uh, value of first price for first day i mean then we will keep it as zero then at the end we have to return max Okay, so in between we will encounter 
we will loop through the prices from first index because we are keeping zero as our min price for now so what we will do first of all we need to maintain minimum price so minimum pri price will be equals to minimum of whatever min pri c price comma pri c prices of current like whatever the minimum price we have encountered till now and what is the price we are having on a current day so from these two whichever will be the minimum will be stored in minimum price and maximum profit now maximum profit will be maximum of whatever the profit we have encountered till now and the price which is on a current date minus minimum it is s prices uh, and minimum uh, <coughs> prices so this is like minimum profit we are maintaining like whatever the minimum profit uh, we have encountered till now and uh, and against the price which is today and maximum profit uh, how we are getting so like maximum profit we have encountered till now uh, to uh, current uh, price of uh, price on a current date and whatever the minimum we have got uh, in previous date so this is our max profit this uh, so first we will run this So it run accepted. Now let's submit. Yeah, so it is submitted successfully. So this was our required solution. So regarding it time complexity, like uh, it we don't have used any extra space, so its space complexity will be capital O of one, and its time complexity will be capital O of n, where n is the size of this price area because we are uh, visiting each and every uh, index of uh, this price prices area one time so it's time complexity capital o of n where n is the size of prices so thank you for watching